Rated M for Mature. Sniper Elite's Carl Fairburn is one of gaming's most badass protagonists. Here's a list of our favorite badass moments. Chiseled jaw? Check. Baritone voice? Definite check. Enemy soldier dog tags collected in their hundreds? Do you even have to ask? Yes, it must be the one and only Carl Fairburn, legendary hero of Rebellion's Sniper Elite series. Complete with sophisticated charm and elegance, as well as his flair for the stylish slow-mo rifle shot, Mr. Fairburn is truly the sniper's sniper. And in the fourth entry of this series, Carl's exploits do not disappoint in what we like to call pure badassery. Whether that be enlisting the help of the Italian mob, or of course removing a remaining testicle from a certain German dictator, there's badassery aplenty in this game. Here then is a collection of our favourite special moments from the main campaign and DLC, with particular attention focused on Carl just, well, being badass. I'm pleased with that. What does it mean to be a badass? Is it merely about wearing large boots, carrying a gun, and having five to seven clever quips to reel off whenever an enemy meets their demise? Or is there a depth to badassery? Is it, in fact, about putting the groundwork in? Groundwork like blowing up an entire railway bridge that disrupts the Nazi supply lines across Italy, for example. I don't know about you, but if I'd managed to do that, it would be among the first five things I would tell everyone I met. But Carl Fairburn wears this achievement with all the no-nonsense utilitarianism that he wears his close-cropped side parting. So what if he either snuck through the entire Regolino Valley full of Third Reich, or killed them all single-handedly, and then placed an explosive at precisely the most structurally weak point of the viaduct, and then sniped his own charge from afar to set it off? For Carl, that's just Wednesday. Our next entry is an audacious piece of problem solving. Midway through the campaign, Carl needs some help to track down Kessler's missile building operation and discovers that the local mafia have been tangling with the Nazis over control of the dockyard. Enter Salvatore Dinelli, a man who enjoys pinstripe suits as much as intimidating local businessmen, and who offers Carl a deal. Scratch his back, figuratively, and the mob will scratch Carl's, also figuratively. Can't stress that enough. To buy Dinelli's help, Carl must cap a rival capo deep in mob-controlled territory then. Imagine that. Imagine being tasked with saving the world from Nazi rule and having the quintessential badassery to use local crime lords to help you go about it. It might not have the immediate visual spectacle of walking away from an explosion without looking at it, stay tuned on that front by the way, but it speaks to Carl's utter self-confidence. I believe you have something for your good friend, Signor Dinelli. Sure, Phil, explosions are cool. Cozying up with the Italian mob is cool too, if that's what you're into. But do you know what the coolest thing of all is? Is friendship. That's right, admittedly, in Carl's case, the ratio of friends made to skulls shattered isn't ideal, but he does leave Italy with at least two new Facebook friend invites than he arrived with. And that's something, right? Our particular favourite is Carl's relationship with Giancarlo, who he seems to worry about in a lovely fraternal way from the moment they meet. You could imagine, in another world, the two of them might share a beer or two, perhaps start a fantasy football league together. After all, Sniper Elite 4 isn't about stopping a fascist dictatorship. No, it's about the friends you make along the way. But of course. <laughs> Anyway, back to explosions, the Death Storm DLC in Sniper Elite 4 wastes no time in giving you some classic Fairburn badassery, as you're initially tasked with neutralising a German naval blockade. Sounds pretty low-key, right? No big deal. I think we all know the answer to that. What follows is plenty of sniping, stealth and Carl taking control of a torpedo that obliterates the aforementioned blockade so easily it looks like it was made from Lego rather than, you know, metal and wood and that. All in a day's work for old Fairburn. That's the anti-subnet dealt with. 
You know you can't make a game featuring a muscle-bound badass action hero without having a few handy explosions to help seal the deal. And whilst firing a bullet at long distance into an enemy combatant's grenade strapped to his chest is indeed pretty badass, for this entry we're looking for explosions on a more grand scale. Enter the Allagra Fortress, home to the campaign's final mission where Karl must stop, spoilers, turncoat General Bohm from escaping. We've covered in previous episodes the ways in which his plane can be destroyed with some precise sniping action, but if you want to go out in true Fairburn style, you have to wait until he takes off. Once in the air, a precise shot at the missile which opens up from the plane's hatch will send Bohm and his new toy to oblivion. And what follows is of course a series of explosions which cements Karl Fairburn's reputation as the most badass sniper in history. There's just nothing quite like running away from a series of explosions and then of course jumping through the air. Glorious. Ah uh, yes, you just knew no list featuring Carl Fairburn's most badass accomplishments would be complete without mentioning Sniper Elite's most infamous antagonist. And truthfully, the problem we had here was in deciding which method to choose from. Whether it be a giant stone eagle falling onto Hitler, placing a grenade in his soup, or watching him being crushed by a submarine, there really is no wrong answer to which way killing history's greatest villain is the most badass. Factoring in Carl's natural athleticism and pure superhuman strength, one could make the argument that killing Hitler with a simple fist to the face is badass enough, or even beating him up in front of his sycophantic goons to add that little extra dose of humiliation. But quite frankly, this is a sniper elite game, so really the only answer that will suffice is kill camming the Fuhrer's one remaining testicle from a great distance, and simply enjoying the camera work of Karl's rifle mastery that follows. So there you have it, planes, trains and semi-auto kills, the badass holy trinity. Did your favourite Carl Fairburn moment make our list? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to the Rebellion channel for plenty more Sniper Elite content. Keeping up to date with our upcoming YouTube videos is pretty badass if you ask us. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.